We're recording! Oh. Here I am. Recording. Lily Lick My Balls, this is the Lava Slug Podcast with your yeah. host, Mike Moneymaker Kid and Fat Dick Kale. Boop, boop, boop. Just Kale. Just no as <laughs> bitch as Kale. What's up, Michael? Not much. Hey, we haven't recorded in a long time. Yeah, you guys miss us? Yeah, you guys fucking, fucking miss us? You miss seeing our beautiful goddamn fucking faces? Our, fucking love our beautiful our fucking faces? Our miserable goddamn hot takes? Pieces of shit and nobody garbage. nobody fucking asked for? Yeah. Well, guess what? We got fucking more of them, but he, before we get there, we got some <laughs> fucking stories. Got some fucking stories. Guess what, motherfuckers? Where, guess what? Where we go? Where we go? Where, where we go? Where oh, we, we go? went and did an open casting to Survivor. And then what? And then what we do? We went to Vegas. You guys hear about what fucking happened? We got Tommy fucking two tits over here. Tommy two tits over here to tell you about fucking Las Vegas. It was tits. It, there was. There were lots of tits. And they were expensive. Uh, Even on the street. Watch out for scammers, the hustlers. So to give some uh, some backstory here, mm-hmm. um, lay it down for us, Kale. So Pykel over there, Big Dick McGee, uh, hit me up a couple weeks ago. It's like, hey, I have a chance mm-hmm. to audition for Survivor. Uh, I've already got a ticket. You know, I'm thinking about, you know, going. Would you be interested? To which I was like, yeah, you know, fuck it. Why not? That was in Put-In Bay. Put-In Bay. Put uh, Ohio, in which Bay. is a little island. Yeah. I called the, um, I forgot what they called them, the, um, South Bass or something island. Yeah, something like in, that. In um, Ohio. So we had to fly into Cleveland. Shit fucking city. Shit fucking city. I'm sorry, man. man. I, I I've I've been to Cleveland a handful of times. That last this last time, Cleveland so sucks ass. Uh, so that, We're coming from Florida to go to to go to Cleveland. It was hell. It was fucking tor- terrible. Mm-hmm. It, it, People are like, "Why are you here?" And like, so we, we did our whole excursion. Had a great goddamn time. We went out to Putin Bay. Had to take a ferry, uh, which was mm-hmm. it was fun. Uh, it was cold as fuck, but yeah. Um, it was fun. Uh, we get out to Putin Bay. It's an absolutely beautiful area. If you guys it have is. never been, it's nice. Uh, you should go. Definitely recommend it. Um, just as soon as you get off the ferry, there's a bunch of golf carts you can rent. Definitely worth it. Uh, yep. Don't drive over there. Don't even worry about loading your car up. Don't load your car up. Yeah, just get a fucking get a golf, golf cart. cart. It's way funner. Dude, there's hundreds of them on the fucking mm-hmm. island. Nobody drives around on a vehicle over there except for the people that live there. Or yeah. Work there. There's a couple people um, with vehicles, maybe tradesmen and shit yeah, doing work. Yeah, but for the most part, it's 90% golf mm-hmm. carts but yeah we got there uh it was supposed to be from 12 to 4 12 to um, 4 but i guess the turnout was so yeah so dramatic so dramatic that they started two hours early which they did not bother to tell, tell anybody um, which means they closed it down two hours earlier yep. so by the time we got in line we were technically two hours late yep so we got we got there early thinking that we were early mm-hmm. uh, thinking that it started at 12 so we went to have a beer get ourselves in proper survivor mentality. proper mood yeah you know what i mean like to stand in line for a couple you gotta hours you got to stand in line in. for several hours you might as well have a couple beers mm-hmm. in you you know i don't drink liquor anymore so you know you had to get a couple beers a couple beers just hanging beers. out brilliant you know the bars uh, around there were really nice yeah, really all cool the bars were fucking awesome uh, cool a bunch spots. of them had stages directly behind the bar uh, so it was it yeah, was really stages neat, somewhere. Neat uh, yeah. venue over there. Um, but yeah, we get up in line waiting three, four hours. I don't fucking know how long. Couple it hours was. for yeah. sure, yep. At least two. Um, we're chilling in this line, moving, moving, moving. We mm-hmm. get up there and we're probably 50 people. You know, back from the the entrance. Yeah, I would I would say thirty. Yeah, thirty people from actually making it to the booth where you sign in. Yeah, and go in and and do your thing. And they started counting people off. Mm-hmm. And we, you know, one of the girls behind us was like, "Oh, what's going on?" And they're like, "Oh, we're cutting cutting off the line." And we saw them counting, and you mm-hmm. know, obviously you get a little pissed off because it's like fuck. Because we you flew. Know? We, yeah, we flew all the way up here. And it was gonna be like my flight was we landed at nine yeah and then you drive an hour, an hour. shout out to enterprise they hooked us up with a fucking audi yeah that fucking that was sick. pretty fucking sick yeah yeah it was fucking damn near brand new yeah apparently we six yeah we yeah. booked with um frontier out there and god damn it was a fucking travesty oh, it was travel this time was a close oh time. my god but we um we made the most of it we salvaged a fucking we did. We salvaged that trip. We fucking made it our bitch. But continue. We Frontier 
um, had a car rental. Like you, you buy your flights and then they offer you car rental. And so that I did. apparently that enterprise wasn't attached to the airport. To the airport. It was yeah. a different enterprise closer in town. And so we'd have to ride there. So they helped us out there at the Cleveland airport and got us all squared away. So shout out to them. Yeah, that enterprise was the only saving grace of that airport. Of that airport. And I think it was just because of that, that guy that worked there. He was cool. Yeah. I don't well, remember his name. There was that other guy. We were standing in line at the Enterprise getting ready to fucking get our car and all that. And there's some random guy from a different from a different car rental place walking by the employee. And he stops us and he looks. He's like, there's an owl posted. Like a, oh, fuck. Like that right. statue. Yes. Yeah, the little owl statue. And he looked over. He goes, he goes, yo, guys, if you look at that owl long enough, he moves his head. And he so, does. But he got like down on his knees like, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. He, right? was, he was so animated about so it. So animated and about it. For those of you that don't. I was high as a kite. I was pretty fucking baked when old boy. Yeah, for those up. of you who don't know, Kale is always baked. Yeah, um, that's why I usually see a couple vapes sitting up here. Um, but this motherfucker said that to me, and I turned around. And it was one of those fake owls, and I'm staring at this thing. Granted, Mike's trying to figure out our rental car situation. And yeah, but that guy, owl's not moving. That guy th- was fucking yeah, with us. This guy had me fuck seven different ways from Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm laughing. We're I, laughing I, about it. I'm just sitting here staring at this thing. I'm like, dude, it's going to fucking move. I'm waiting for it. And when it does, I'm going to go kick that dude in the head because he's a goddamn sorcerer. He's it's doing some kind of witchcraft. We are delirious also because we did not sleep the night before. Oh, yeah. Our flight took off at four in the morning. So we didn't sleep at all. So we went, yeah, we, I mean, I got off of work pretty late, ended up. It was like 12 o'clock. I had some other things to do and pack. So it was like 1 o'clock before I was done with that. I ended up going to a kava bar and mm-hmm. just hanging out. And then I hit up Kale and he was I like... I met you at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I couldn't sleep. I was going to try and get a couple hours before that flight yeah. and it didn't happen. So we're delirious. No yeah. sleep. Land. Get the rental car from Cleveland. Start driving. Get to get to put in bag. Get, cross the ferry. Find parking. Get, cross the lake onto an island with a ferry. And then go through all of this, all of this, and we get some beers because we think we're early, and then we get in line and find out we're two hours late because they started two hours early. They cut the so line off. No fucking sleep. Thirty fucking people. Like I'm already eight hundred bucks deep in just flights, rental car, Man. rental fucking beers, the fucking renting the golf cart, all this shit. Fifty dollar hoodies. Yep. It's it's that a fiasco. Was- and there was some asshole at the end. So the line, okay, so so the shit happened where we couldn't audition. So, okay, whatever. In my head, I was like, well, we'll just videotape ourselves dicking around and make that our own audition because you can turn it on audition yeah. tape whenever. Um, but there was that, there was a guy that's always at all these auditions. Oh, that guy was such a fucking loser. And he's, um, such a I don't know what his loser. fucking name is, but he has everybody sign his shirts and shit. And for, I've already auditioned in an open audition for Survivor right. in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And that guy was there. Right? But this time he was he was saying he wasn't saying we were losers. He was like, um Rejects. Rejects. He called yeah. us all rejects. Like you guys can sign the inside yeah. of my shirt since you guys are rejects. And I'm, I'm like, chugged. dude, how many of these have you been to? He's like twenty six. And I'm like You've never been on the show. So once. you've been rejected yeah. twenty six times. Reject than anybody here. Yeah, I was so fucking mad. And besides, that guy's a total creep because last oh, time yeah, in Bowling yeah. Green, he was like chatting up, chatting up the girls and making them feel uncomfortable. And so I There's feel like. going to be one of those cocks. But that guy goes to every single one. I think that's his. His MO. Yeah, he's yeah. to talk to ladies and whatnot. Like, oh, I've been to 26 years. Uh, like, oh, they yeah. signed my shirt. Your gimmick's not working. Yeah, it's, it's what are you clearly, doing with these shirts? Yeah. He was just—he was calling us rejects, and I don't really fucking appreciate that shit. I did like seeing it. as I fly. I did like it how like as soon as they made the cutoff, so many of us had stood in line for so long that we were just like, we're not leaving. And yeah, like, there was a whole horde of us that stayed there and were like, hopeful. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we eventually. I'd already been there so long. We just stand, yeah. continue to stand there. Fuck it. Maybe. Hope maybe something will work out. Yeah, maybe some of these people will drop off and realize how long it's taking or whatever. Mm-hmm. And say fuck it, we don't even want to audition anymore. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, but yeah, fucking that was super cool. We ended up touring the rest of the island, just kind of getting after it. Seeing yeah, it was, was a fun. It was fun. It was we, a neat place. I definitely would recommend going back there. Um, yeah, it's a cool spot. They have weird stuff going on. It seems like something to be in like Stranger Things, like an yeah. island that's too clean. Yeah, there's got to be some skeletons. 
like we were driving around there and all i could think is like there's got to be some dark dark history yeah this island. Um, witchcraft or something going on because you have yeah. those old victorian houses and then some large spire yeah in the middle it's fucked it's it's a weird spot yeah, it definitely gave off an ominous vibe of like witchcraft and shit like that yeah um but if you're into that kind of shit man it may you know twist your nips it may get you it going. may twist your nips yeah and the yeah. bars there are all cool there was a lot Everybody of Everybody was super nice you know what i mean there's a lot of baddies on that island a lot, for of, fine women. A lot yeah. of fine ladies Lots on that island of fine ladies um mm-hmm. But yeah, and then after we got done with that, we went and got ourselves a hotel. Uh, we were fucking tired as shit. We yeah, were on we, the ferry. I'm passing out on the ferry. Yeah, Mike was literally passed out on the ferry, and everybody kept looking at him and laughing. And they just, thought I was drunk. I, yeah, I kept waking him up, and, was, and then I just was like, fucking, he can sleep. Like, yeah, because at that point, we hadn't fucking slept. We hadn't slept, slept over, yeah, in fucking two days. We got a hotel. Crashed fucking out. Crashed. Crashed. Oh, tell them about the mayflies. This thing is called mayflies. They're oh, fucking terrifying. Oh, fuck. For those of you that don't know, Ohio has what is called mayflies. Mm-hmm. Neither of us had ever experienced We're from before. Indiana, which is right, a yeah, state. Yeah, right next right to next. it. And we've never experienced it. And you're never on seen the a mayfly border. before. South Bend's basically on the fucking border of Ohio. Uh-huh. And yeah, so, and I'd never seen one before. So mayflies, they're like, love, if you've never seen a love bug before, they are swarming in Florida yearly. Uh, yeah, there's season love bug season. Form. Yeah, uh, And mayflies apparently have that in Ohio, to, to my understanding. They do not let go. They lock on to cars, and they if you've ever seen the movie The Mist, they look like the insect bugs from that movie. Uh, they have these long tail pincer that look like they're gonna fucking stab you yeah it looks like a scorpion tail Uh and then they've got these long mandibles as well and they're just a terrifying dragonfly looking fly hybrid piece of shit piece of shit they're They're everywhere they're everywhere and like we're doing 85 down the fucking interstate and And they're hanging on still live showing to the car and i mean you'll literally come out and there'll be hundreds of them yeah it's terrifying to on the to cold see. side of the car it's just yeah. like on whatever side the sun's not beating on there on and that side dude, it was it was just terrifying to witness and one of my buddies that used to live there told me that they're harmless but i don't fucking believe that man yeah looking at those things they look like they're trying to dig and burrow into my skin oh like, yeah they don't give a friendly vibe no trust at all but yeah, man. Uh, Cleveland Airport as well. Uh, don't know if the whole place is racist, but we definitely <laughs> got firsthand view Jesus. at some full-on goddamn racism. Yep. Um, we're waiting in line. Uh, ended up in the TSA. Up. Yep. Yeah, in TSA before we even get on our flight. Or ninety-nine point nine nine percent white people standing. Yeah, in this I line. mean Cleveland Airport at this moment when we're there is ninety-nine point nine 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 repeating percent white White. not and that's not the racist part no that's just we we were We're waiting in line and one of the girls behind us we ended up chatting up uh super super nice girl laura from michigan if you hear this laura shout out from the lava slugs we remember lava slugs um but we're sitting there chatting her up and next thing you know this tsa agent white dude uh probably mid 30s comes walking up very aggressively and just points to the point. one Middle Eastern, I mean, just as aggressive as you can point at somebody. The one Middle Eastern couple that was in the fucking group yep. points at this girl who's probably 19 years old. What's your last name? Yep. And every single one of us went silent and we're just staring at the two mm. of these people, the white dude and this Indian girl. And we're all just completely befuddled, like... Yeah. What? Like you realize what you're doing right now? Mm. Like how bad this looks? They answered. Well, they answered yeah, something. She answered She's. They something. were like looking at each other, the couple, and then they and answered, and then he was just like, just walked away. He said, "Never mind," and walked off. Just went back to fucking off, and I'm just like, no, 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 no. hold on. Yeah. What answer was he expecting? Like we need to, as a group, we need to address what just happened. Like, yeah. And we're looking around like, what the fuck was that? It was so I felt, I felt abrupt. So bad for that girl. It happens so fucking fast. Because it's like it's not like he said anything super vile. You know what I mean? No, he asked him their last name. They didn't give him the answer he wanted, and he walked off. And it's it's just the aggression and the tone mm-hmm. that he brought. It was like a donut of white people in this yeah. line. And then, and then a ni- Middle Eastern couple, maybe Indian. Maybe, you know, I wasn't close enough to really yeah. see them, but I could tell that they weren't white people. No, I mean, they And they fucking just like, yeah. you, what's your last name? And we, I remember just looking at you like, what, like, what the, the fuck, fuck just is happening happened? right now? Middle, yeah, the, yeah. Fucking goddamn, man. 
Uh, but yeah, he Midwest, was man. he was real Mid-East. country white boy. I mean, fucking fuck it, I had to have been. But yeah, we we got through security. We're still in Cleveland. Still in fucking Cleveland. Next thing you know, we're supposed to be flying to have a layover in Dallas Fort Worth to fly back to Tampa. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where things got a little bit crazy. Um, if you'd like to expound a little bit. Oh yeah, I got you, Kale. I got you on this one. Um, so our flight. <laughs> Our flight kept getting delayed to Dallas. There was some sort of security issue, they said, Frontier, yada, yada, yada. Every half hour, I'd get a notification saying that the flight had been pushed another half hour. And then eventually, the notification would come. Plane's now taking off at 4, but it'd be like 4.15. And we're we're in the gate, and we're like, nothing's moving right now. Nothing's happening. So at some point, we give up on life and go get wine. All All this time, we're getting food and shit, but we went and got... A bottle of wine at the fucking airport bar Fuck and yeah. solid bottle of wine, whatever. We're sitting there drinking it. And as I'm feeling a little loopy, I'm like, you know what? Instead of having a layover in in Dallas, let's have a layover in Vegas. Mm-hmm. 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 And, and, and so we did that. <laughs> I, I will say, while Mike throws this idea out there, we had struck up a conversation with one of the people at the bar, mm-hmm. as well as the bartender, a uh, super nice lady. Uh, but we kept bickering, well, not really bickering, but talking amongst ourselves about you know the idea of going to Vegas. Yeah. And you know we kept joking about it and joking about it for a good hour or so. And the bartender just looked at us and was like, go to Vegas. Mm -hmm. You guys, she heard us talking about it forever, and so did the uh, other lady. They're like, "You guys are going to Vegas. It's it's happening." And they were right. Fucking yeah. So Mike fucking canceled our flight to Dallas Fort Worth, and I got our tickets. We took off. It took a few more hours. Uh, We didn't leave until what, like eight, nine o'clock. Yeah, we just hung Uh, out. Yeah. So uh, our flight was supposed to leave at two, and then we were sitting there at five. Because it was five when I bought five the or tickets. Six. Yeah, something like that. Because the plane took off at eight. We had yeah. three. I remember we had three hours before the flight plane but took off we to ended Vegas. Up fucking getting on the plane. One of the motherfucking Vegas boy. Flew out to Vegas. Uh, landed in Vegas at probably eleven thirty. Eleven thirty at night, and then we just decided fuck it. Fuck it. We got a fucking cab. Threw our backpacks on our backs. But, yep. Shot out the airport down to the strip. Got fucking hung out at the strip. Toured just about every fucking casino and yep. hotel. Went out, went to In and Out. Hit up In and Out. Um, fucking, it was okay. Yeah, it was, it was fast. It was cool. It was, it yeah. was, it was a fun little jaunt down the strip. Uh, the next day was probably more fun. Um, yeah. We, we but we went up, back. We ended up going back to the. Ho- we didn't have a hotel, so yeah. we're we're bone dry on money. And what yep. we were planning to do is use whatever money we made gambling to fly back yeah um this is solid plan. so we stayed in the terminal we came back to the airport <laughs> five, and that was our hotel five six o'clock yep. in the morning after two in the strip all night and getting yep. fucked up and slept for four hours woke up got starbucks and then went to fremont street yeah, it was like eight we we got back at like five or six in the morning and it was like eight o'clock in the morning we tried to sleep in these chairs in these the chairs yeah and, it, you'd sleep for like 15 minutes and then you'd wake get up. uncomfortable, wake up. It, it's, it was, it was some of the worst sleep I've ever had in my fucking life. Mm-hmm. It was a hell of but a five day fucking essential. weird ass vacation with weird sleep and shit. But yeah, we got two hours of sleep roughly. Maybe. Just rolled back to fucking Fremont street. Went down to Fremont street and got after it. And the minute we get down there, uh, granted Mike said he's been to Vegas before. I've never been. Mm. And we get down to Fremont street and, the Flamingo Girls come out. Oh, yeah. And for those of you that have never been to Vegas, steer clear of any girls coming up trying to If take they have photos. pasties on, yeah. stay the fuck away because you're going to get charged 60 bucks for feathers, something. If they're in a fucking bikini, they're going to charge you. Um, they come up being sweet as pie, just fucking nicest people in the world. And mm-hmm. they come up talking to us and, uh, you know, yada, yada, yada. So your first time and... Yeah, it was my first time in Vegas, and Mike already knew what these bitches were up to. Yeah, I just didn't know how much it was going to be. Yeah, and so they come up and are like, oh, you know, let's take a photo with you, be complimentary, it's your first time. I'm like, oh, cool, Mm -hmm. awesome. Like, this is sweet. Like, hospitality. Yeah. Being naive, being dumb. So, you know, we take three photos with these girls, 
you know, Mike takes photos for me. Mm-hmm. And as we, as he finishes, the girl goes over, one of the girls goes to talk to Mike, and the other one starts talking to me. She clubs my knees, takes my wallet. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, she looks at me and goes, okay, sweetie, so typically uh, we you leave a generous tip, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I'll okay, give 10 bucks. I'll tell you 10, 20 bucks. There yeah. you go. She's like, and I'm like, oh, cool. Like, you know, like, I, I grab my wallet, and as mm-hmm. I'm grabbing it, she's like, yeah, it's typically $80. <sighs> Her girl and I put my wallet back. I'm like, oh, mm. what? Eighty dollars for what? Yeah. She's like for the photos, and I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. There has to be more that comes after this. Like eighty dollars to take a photo with you. Like your yeah. presence is worth eighty dollars. Yeah. Fuck out of here. If Jennifer Aniston were sitting here right now, I would not pay her, pay her $80. $80 dollars, no. And she's one of the hottest women I think in this entire world. Yeah. She came up in pasties. If she came up in pasties I'd and give her forty dollars, I'd maybe give her twenty bucks. Mm-hmm. I'd give forty. But I just the rationale behind it—it it was ridiculous. They are like, hustlers. And so I give her. I look at her. I go, "Here's six dollars." And she goes, "You're kidding, right?" And I go, "No." Yeah. And she's like, "You won't meet me anywhere closer." And I go, "The fact that I'm giving you six, like stone face, like the fact that I'm giving you six dollars yeah. is." Is a tip. It's mm-hmm. enough. It's generous. Yeah. Six dollars to take a photo with you two women. Yeah. Like, you're cute. You're attractive women, but like, I wouldn't pay eighty dollars for the hottest supermodels. Yeah. To take a photo with me. That's, yeah, and the fact that they didn't specify like beforehand. Like, they, yeah, they, they knew what they were led, doing. If you'd have led with eighty dollars up front, I would have stiff armed you into the fucking pay. Yeah, you would got elbowed for sure. I'd have told you to get fucked, but. Mm-hmm. You knew what you were doing. These women, yeah, Fucking, they do it all the time. Fucking, it's shy see as shit, man. Oh, yeah. Like, and I, they, the thing is, they didn't stop either. Like after we got a photo with them, it, all these other girls saw that, and they instantly, and they didn't even know that we didn't tip these girls. Mm-hmm. They just instinctively came up, and Mike was literally. Dodging bitches. Yeah, it was like football, strip, just like side juking. To side, nope. Spin moves, <laughs> like just keeping that wallet tucked. Man, yeah, because they were ruthless. keeping the front, dude. They I'm were not hounding. Fucking... I mean, dude, they were taking money from families, families and shit. And like the thing is, I guarantee none of those people knew going into it that it was eighty dollars per girl. Nope. Like, it's fucking maniacal, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, and the thing is, like. If you're not somebody like me who's going to stand up for yourself, they're going to get that $80 off yep. you. They're going to and they were very adamant about it. They were pressuring and that that chick wasn't letting her foot off the throat. Mm-hmm. Like she was going to get that $80 or Ooh. she was going to get thrown in the sewer. In the <laughs> yeah. I won't uh, assault you, but I will push you into a sewer. Yeah, you deserve it. Yeah. But we walked up and down Fremont Street after that. It was a fun place, man. Yeah, it was a solid. It was a, it was a spectacle, right? I Vegas was, is a spectacle. I was very surprised. And I was talking to Butcher about this today because he's from Vegas. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was very surprised with how small Vegas was. You yeah. Know? In, in, in all my... Big buildings, just small yeah, footprint. In, in all my life, I expected it to be on par with like an L.A. or a New York as mm-hmm. far as size goes. Yeah. Um, maybe not infrastructure, but size-wise, I expected it to be large and mm-hmm. like spread out. Um, but it's very on top of itself. Um, it's, you know, you've got the strip and then you've got Fremont. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And, you know, desert maybe, and mountains. You might have another two miles outside of that that has some attractions and stuff, but, you know, it's, it's very minute. It's very tiny, isolated. Um, I don't know, man. I could see. I could see why it would be fun, but mm-hmm. at the same time, I could see how it would get old real fast. Real fast, fast, yeah. Like it's only saving grace is it's close to other things. Yeah. Like and there's no state tax there, so. Well, Reve- Reno's. What? But Reno's the same thing as Vegas. It's yeah, just but small. It's, it's not very far. You can go to Lake Tahoe, yeah, which yeah. is Reno pretty much. But yeah, man, Vegas was cool. Um, our flight home was a whole another fucking ball game. Oh my um, god! What a fucking pain in my dick. When we say we had some of the worst travel, um, mm-hmm. we mean it. Uh, so we we had to book our flight home, um, and we ended up on Spirit. Spirit right? Airlines, yeah. And then on our way back, that one ended up getting moved to a different gate, but yep. it took off on time. Yeah. 
that one actually was in, was on time, but we took did up get, on time. We got moved to a different gate, which was a little bit of a because we were off, sleeping. But, yeah, we were sleeping. We sleeping in our gate. <laughs> Uh, and Mike kicks me. He's like, "Hey, wake up!" Like they moved our gate, and I'm like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah. So we shoot over there, but we get onto the plane, heading home to Tampa. Finally, after mm-hmm. this excursion, and we get out to the tarmac. We're on the runway. Guy has a fucking seizure two rows in front of me. Yep. Sorry, he's like guys. an outback steak. He's seasoned. <laughs> seasoned. You are loving that joke. Fucking. You are loving that joke. <laughs> God damn it. Never get to fucking yes. use it. Yes, that is great A material. I will allow it on this one. Yeah, yeah. Nothing against He's, the guy. I just need to use that. Yeah, he, he was fine. He made it out of it. it yeah, they had to take him off the plane, um, so. Yeah, as he started season, nine fucking people became doctors and ran mm, up ran there. Ran up, yeah. You just hear the pilot, sorry, guys, we're going to have to turn around, you know. Yep. Which, rightfully so. You know, I'm not mad at a guy for having a seizure. You know what it I mean? Sucks. It's an yeah. inconvenience. It sucks, but... See, I'll never fly Spirit again because people be having seizures on there, and I just don't... I don't, yeah. just don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with that. <laughs> not at all. Ever again. But anyway, so we finally take off. He gets unloaded. We take off. Bada bing, bada boom. We get to Tampa. It's a four and a half hour flight. Plus the time change. Plus the time change. We have, uh, uh, like, aisle seats. Yeah. And mind you, we went to gamble and hopefully make enough money to buy the flight back. We didn't make any money. Lost it. We lost money, yeah. We lost. It lost. was the illusion of making money. We made money at some point, and then it was all gone. Yeah, we leveled back out, and then it was gone. God. Um, Word of the wise, if you hit any sort of streak on anything, take your money. Yeah. Don't try to get more wins. Just yeah. fucking take it. Once you've doubled or added any bit add, of money. Add 10 bucks. You get a yeah. t- one big win, it's game over, because that's Pull the out. hook. Put back what you won. Um, but yeah, we get over Tampa only to mm-hmm. find out there's a severe thunderstorm and lightning and we can't land. We can't fucking land. So what do they do? They take us all the way to fucking Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. We land in Fort Lauderdale. Jesus. I guarantee if they had just stayed in the air for another 30 minutes, that storm would have fucking passed. Yeah. We made it through. Been good. Mm-hmm. But we touched down in Fort Lauderdale at a regional airport, apparently, that doesn't have anyone working at it. There was nobody working to fuel the plane. So we have so to... So we landed to refuel. Yeah. And so they have to call someone in to mm-hmm. fucking come refuel it. Which was a fo- extra 45-minute flight, yeah, by the way. Dude. And so we're fucking on the ground for another two hours. It was mm-hmm. 5 o'clock this in the This point, morning. I'm delirious, passing out, yeah. hallucinating, because it's everything's just... Our, our sleep schedule had been it's so been fucked. completely fucked. Completely fucked. We've, We've got, slept maybe nine hours in four days. On, in chairs or whatever chairs, we could find. On floor, so it was, we were definitely roughing seats. it. Yeah, man. Definitely roughing it. So by the time we fucking finally leave Fort Lauderdale, it's 4 or 5 in the morning. We landed we at land, 5. Or, yeah. Ugh. So we finally, we, that plane left the airport at what, 4.30, 5 o'clock? 4.35, but we stayed because that guy. Right. So we didn't actually take off, but we were in the plane sitting. So we left probably six. We la- or we loaded at 4.11. Right. So we'd been sitting on that plane since before 4.30. Yeah. Absolute clusterfuck. Yeah. Right. Yeah, moral of the story... Get rich so you can buy first class or your own plane ticket. Or your own plane. That too, but I was going to say, if your flight gets canceled, just go to Vegas. Just go to fucking Vegas. It was fun. It was a fucking cool We time. didn't lose too much money. We didn't go on the trip expecting to be in Vegas. So I yeah. wasn't prepared, but so we still had was... enough to fucking dick around. Yeah, we, we got to play the slots. We mm-hmm. did some roulette. You know, we did some horse racing. Um, you know, it was fun. I'd never, aside from the Hard Rock in Tampa, which I went to with you. Yeah. Like four years ago. I'd never been to a casino, mm-hmm. um, so it was an experience for me. Um, I'm very bad at gambling. If any of you out there are ever taking a gambling trip, don't include me. Don't include um, Kale in any of your trips. I, I enjoy <laughs> gambling a little bit, It's but losing money, I wanted to shoot everyone. As Pretty sure there was hookers everywhere, too. There were escorts out the wazoo. Yeah. Um, yeah. Plethora of them. Plethora of? A stable. Of? Of whores. Of hookresses. Hookresses. What episode is this? 22, 23? 20 million. 20 million. Please. 70 seasons, Morty. Oh my, Morty. 70 more seasons, Morty. Morty. 900 episodes. But anyway. For whatever um, it takes to get that Szechuan dip exhaust. Yeah. If you're on the Survivor fucking 
Dude, put us on. Yeah, dude, put us on. We'd be God, fun, we man. fucking wasted a flight. We it was flew still, t- it's still all fun. the way to Putin fucking Bay. Yeah, and you started Florida. it two hours early. And you didn't bother to tell us that you were starting two hours. It's got to be something. It's got to be something. So, can you at least play, pay for our next plane ticket to Vegas? Or maybe give us like a, a an, aud- an audition or something. I'll yeah. fly out to do a special audition or some shit. You guys I like doing us. the auditions. Yeah, it just sucked that. They put started it two hours early. Without un- telling anyone. Without telling anybody, yeah. And at least stay till four, right? They close two hours early. Yeah. Like, if you're going to start two hours early, I'm sorry that your set team has to be here later now. It is. I mean, it is, it what, is it what it is. It is what it is. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you were scheduled to do a job until a certain time. Yeah. Do it. And we were dri- we drive around the golf cart. We had to return the golf cart at, what, seven? Seven, yeah. And they were done. Yeah. There was nobody else recording. They were telling us, oh, we'll be here till midnight. You weren't. You weren't. You're trash. Bullface fucking lie. You, you Bullface were, fucking lie. I guarantee lie. you were done. Like, you were done and out the door at four. Yeah. You guys At least this. five. Yeah. Stuck around and drank. Yeah, you may have stuck you around. You were at a bar. Well, they did have that little casting uh, area downstairs mm-hmm. at that bar. Yeah. So, I mean, they probably did have like a little after hour shindig. For yeah, everybody. they usually do. Yeah. They just if hang out. casted. Well, you wouldn't know then. True. You don't know. They don't tell you. You like if you don't hear anything in six months, you didn't get on. Like, okay, cool. See, nice like that email. right there throws me for a loop. Like six months, holy fucking shit! Like you, you I guess you can, and then just forget that you even did it. Yeah, you can get casted on other things too. They said like right. Amazing Race if they liked your audition or whatever. But see, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, that's that's the only disappointing aspect of it is like you know not getting to audition at all. We didn't even get to audition yeah. at all. We didn't even get to make a fool of ourselves. Yeah, like if I could have at least gone in there and like you shot me down. Yeah, I can live with that. Mm-hmm. You know, I've I've auditioned before. Um, I had an acting and uh, modeling showcase in Chicago senior year of high school. Nice. Um, and so I've done those. You know, done like monologues in front of agents and shit like that before, and it it's a bit intimidating, but. I also was 18 and didn't have liquid courage to help me. Oh, yeah. Nowadays, I'm, I'd am i be older than the talent agents, and I would just say, hey, listen here, kid. Yeah, listen here, Listen here, sonny boy. Right? <laughs> I'm not going to lick toes. Go I'm fuck yourself. Not. But anyway, Survivor um, casting people fucking hit me up. Michael Kidd. Yeah. Um, like, share, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. It'd be nice to get up button. to... It'd be nice to get up to 10 views. That's all we want. 10 of you guys. 10 views. Tune in. 10 fucking views. Yeah. Maybe we need to get 10 views more experienced at podcasting. 10 more views experienced? Yeah, we're. I guess we're hey, not yeah, experienced your enough. Is, your, view, your viewership adds skill points. It's like, us, uh, yeah. it's like uh, fucking Skyrim. You know, yeah. When you guys view us, we get more points, which boost our ability to perform. And Yeah, so sexually. Sexually charged. Mm-hmm. Sexually charged. So stay fully that's torqued. That's it. Yeah, stay fully torqued. Um, blah, blah, blah. The podcast is fucking over. It's over, dude. I'm fucking, fucking out. Over. We'll do it fucking live. Stop fucking talking.